Hello everyone and welcome to the Microsoft Copilot video series. Here in this particular series we will explore Microsoft Copilot and all the services where we can use Microsoft Copilot like Microsoft 365, Microsoft Azure, Dynamics and so on. My name is Bimal Singh and I'm a MCT. The this is the first video where we are going to understand and start with how actually Copilot works. So we'll explore the architecture in this video and the next video we'll talk about the individual service where we can use Copilot. So do subscribe the channel, like and press the bell icon so you will not miss any video and you will stay in touch with us. Thank you so much. Let's get started with the architecture of Copilot. Okay, so this is the architecture of your Copilot. Now, this diagram, if you can see, it has been divided in two parts. The first part was pre-processing and the second part is post-processing. Let's explore step by step. And here, if you can see at first layer or first part, all the prompts which is initiated by user will be forwarded to the co-pilots. For example, you have asked, summarize this document or draft a reply for this particular mail. Now that prompt will be forwarded to the second layer. At the second step, what happens? The co-pilot reaches out to the services from where they can fetch the information related to the ask. And that can happen with the help of the different services if it is Office 365, so it can reach out through Microsoft Graph. Now, the request will be forwarded with the help of Microsoft Graph to the applications like your file, meetings, chat, or any other application related ask. It will reach out to that application. And as you can see here, this information is within your tenant. Now, this can be extended to the external sources as well like database and power platform or you might have bing or any other plugins so you explicitly you have extended your copilot to fetch the information from those external places in that case it will try to fetch the information from these places as well now at step three if you can see the copilot sends modify prompt to the large language model basically that's an ai so here this step is responsible to take the grounded information and modify it which we call it a smart prompt to the large language model so it can understand better request and now this large language model will send the response to the fourth step i mean to the copilot but here the magic comes this information will not get forward directly to the copilot what it does before that it integrates something called responsible ai and this responsible ai is responsible to make sure the information that it is sending to the copilot is safe fair and helpful now if I talk about large language model, this is basically hosted at Microsoft OpenAI. Now, just after that, fourth step, we have fifth step. So, before sending the result to the end user, your result will get verified with Microsoft Purview just to check your company's compl compliance. So, if you have created any compliance policy, if you have any you can say sharing rules or any other policy. So this will get applied on the result before sending it to the end user. So this is how actually this architecture of Copilot works. Okay, so what is the highlight in this architecture? So if you can see the first thing, which is everything is encrypted. So using HTTPS, it secures the complete channel. Now, the second thing, OpenAI can't see your data. That's the very important part. And this 
model is hosted in Microsoft environment. The third main point is your prompt and files don't train the AI, means your information stays private only. Okay, so if you're new to the generative AI, the given URL will be the best, uh, you can say, approach to explore this one. So request to everyone to go and explore this uh, generative AI, how actually it works from this given URL. Okay, so thank you so much for joining this video and we'll see you in next video where we'll start our deep dive discussion with the Microsoft Copilot with the Microsoft Defense Services like Azure, Office 365 and others. Once again, thank you so much.